for, for this problem, we're asked to find an equation of the line containing these two points. Uh, now, always remember, if we're asked to find the equation of the line, then we turn to this guy right here, y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. This is the equation or the form of a line that will help us determine the equation of any line if we're given some information about it. Well, to use this guy to find the equation of a line, what we need is the slope of the line, that's the m, and we need a known point on the line, which we call x1, y1. All right, so how do we go about using this y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1? Like I said, we need the slope. Well, they didn't give us the slope, but we can figure that part out ourselves because we know that we have these two points. So we're going to find the slope first. Remember, slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And we just plug in the x, the y2 minus y1. Well, 6 minus 1 over 12 minus 4, which gives us 5 over 8. So that's the slope. Um, and it's worth mentioning again that you know, it, we could have subtracted in the other direction. We could have said 1 minus 6 and then 4 minus 12, which would have given us a negative 5 over a negative 8, which is the same as 5 eighths. So don't worry about trying to figure out which direction you have to subtract. The only thing that's important is that if, when you do the subtraction, if you start with this one and do 6 minus 1, then the x has to go in the same order, this x minus this x. All right, so we know what the uh, slope is. And now we want to use this y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. But in order to use that, we need to know a point on the graph or on the line, and we have two points. Now we can use either one of these, and we'll get the same answer. So let's just use the one with the smaller numbers. So we take our y minus y1. Like I said, we're going to be using this guy now. So y minus y1 is going to be y minus 1 is equal to m, where we said m was 5 eighths times x minus x1, and x1 is 4. All right, so we're going to have uh, some fractions to contend with here. Uh, the first thing we do is to distribute the 5 eighths through the parentheses, so we get y minus 1 is equal to 5 eighths times x minus, and then 5 eighths times 4. Well, let's look at this. 5 eighths times 4. Let's write that as 5 eighths times 4 over 1. Um, well, that's going to be, we can reduce that, right? We can say, well, 4 goes into 4, let's use a different color. 4 goes into 4 once, and 4 goes into 8 twice. So that really just simplifies down to 5 over 2. So when you multiply this through this times this, we get 5 halves. Now we need to add 1 to both sides to get y by itself. So I have y is equal to 5 eighths x minus 5 halves plus 1. Well, let's say plus 2 over 2 because, remember, we're going to add 1 to a fraction. We want to make that look like a fraction, and we need a common denominator. So 5 halves plus 2 over 2 is the same as 5 halves plus 1. So we're almost done here. 5 eighths x plus, oh, not plus, excuse me. We're going to actually watch our signs. Minus 5 halves plus 2 halves. That's a minus and that's a plus, so we're going to have minus 3 halves. 
and so the equation of the line is y is equal to 5 eighths x minus 3 halves.